All right, guys, welcome to episode 88 of Dope Talk TV. It's your truly low key guy, John, here with me. Got Pedro over there, the dogs are in the back. You yo, already know yo. how to fuck with rocking, man. We appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget to do just that. Go down in the description, get yourself some merch. And yeah, man, don't forget, pack your bomb, pack your bowl, roll your J, roll your blunt. Get your dad bricks ready. You already know how to fuck a rocket, man. We're back with another one. I'm back with Eesh. another one. Damn, what episode is this? 88, my guy. 88, bro. Episode We're about to, 88. What the fuck Hold is on, going bro. on, Hold man? On. Me, That's me... crazy, bro. Episode 88, man. Round of applause. It's a beautiful day outside. Episode 88. It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful fucking you know what I'm Sunday. Saying? Rain, sleet, hail of snow. Guys. We're here for you guys. We love you. We appreciate you. We love you. You know what I'm saying? And uh, yeah, man. We're, we're, we're back. We're back. We're back. We're How, back we feeling? How you feeling back there, Pedro? You ch- chilling? You chilling? My dog glowing, bro. Yo, my dog glowing, bro. <laughs> if y'all can see this, it's Yo, if, different, bro. If y'all know my dog Pedro, bro, he came up, bro. He came so up. He, he found up. God. Hey, round of applause, man. Yeah, man. He found God. You know what I'm saying? It, it's a... Uh, it's a beautiful thing to see, man, when you it's see beautiful. somebody that you, you care about, you know what I'm saying, on the come up. So we love you, Pedro. Appreciate you. Anything positive. Yeah, facts. Positive. Facts. We gotta start we gotta start supporting each other on yeah. some more positive shit. We gotta it's start true. giving I each other flowers, shit. bro. I heard that shit the other day. You we know? gotta start giving each other flowers before people are gone, bro. For real. Too many people get flowers after people are gone. But um but yeah, man. Something that something that a lot of people are starting to get into right now. And uh, you, if you haven't already, you should be, is cryptocurrency, man. Cryptocurrency is on the rise. There's a lot of them out there. There's Shiba Coin, Safe Moon, fucking Bitcoin, fucking Joanna, Bitcoin, fucking Joanna <laughs> Coin, whatever coin you want to fucking find, nigga. They got yeah, it out there. Got any coin you want. <laughs> the coins all right? don't worry about it baby nah facts bro them coins are gonna go a long way though man like uh cryptocurrency is something that's been around for a while now like a few years like 2015 like 2011 type shit is when bitcoin came out or something so it's been around for a while yeah but people don't catch on bro and you be trying to tell them like bro catch on like you know invest into this invest into that you know, of course, Bruh. everybody got their own right to do what they want with their money. But I feel like if somebody's made some money off of something and they're like, yo, bro, you know, look into it. You yeah. should at least look into it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you should real. take, you know, just look into it. Check it out. If it's not your thing, then just, hey, man, it's not your fucking thing. You know what I mean? Because it's not for everybody. Yeah, it's, it's not. not. It's really not. It's like anything else. Because you're man. taking a risk at the end of the day, and some people just don't like to take a risk. They're yeah, not bro. risk takers. They're not risk takers. But yep. hey, man, high <laughs> risk comes with high reward. You know, yep. the higher the risk, the higher the reward is when you, when it comes. So, guys, don't ever, you know what I'm saying? Don't ever, uh, don't, don't ever hesitate it. to, like, look into something and try it out. You know, if it, if you think it might be beneficial for you, try it. You know, we spend a lot of more, a lot of money on other shit, bro. Like, we spend so much money a year on other shit that we could be using to invest. And we don't look at it like a loss, even though it is a loss. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Like. It's true. And I, I don't know, man, just people are just, they just don't like fucking change, man. They don't like change and they just want to feel comfortable. So it's okay, man. Like just do what you do. But just like what you said, you know, the bigger the risk, the bigger the reward. Yeah, man. Yeah. So That's a fact. But yeah. hey, man, somebody I wanted to give a big round of applause to is <clears throat> Akon. Akon. Shout out to Akon, man. Akon is a, uh, you know, we all grew up with them. Yeah. Locked up. They won't let me, me out. out. Uh, they, they won't, won't let me out. out. I'm locked up. up. They won't let me out. No, they won't let me out. Oh my God! Yeah, Round of applause to us. Yeah. Fuck that! They don't know what the yeah, fuck we're doing. Nah, that oh, was some I got goosebumps. Nah, that was I got some goosebumps. That was dog. some fucking soul right there. <laughs> soul and blues. B two K. Who, bro? Oh, but nah, shit. nah, dead ass man. Shout out to A Con. He came a long way from being locked up. You know what I'm saying? To now being a, a you know billionaire, making deals, making billion dollar deals with China, and and building you know infrastructure for people that have no electricity to be able to have electricity. He's literally brought millions of people electricity across Africa, man. And that's something, again, round of applause. That yeah, deserves bro. two rounds of applause. Because yeah, that's talking big, about man. People don't talk about shit like that. Everybody wants to talk about who's beefing with who, who's trying to shoot who, who's trying to fucking, <laughs> yeah. you know what I'm saying, do whatever. But it's like, my nigga, there's people out here doing real things and getting no type of love for it. You yeah, know? And then 25 years later, you hear 
oh, Akon died. Now everybody wants to show love. But while he was here actually doing this shit, nobody gave a fuck. Nah, bro. He was really locked up, bro. <laughs> I'm dead ass, bro. He was out here really locked up. He was really fucking selling crack cocaine and shit. I don't know. But nah, you know, he bro, been... his story's crazy. Yeah. I'm not going to get into it because it's all a legend. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. We don't but know. We don't know. We don't know. But, you know, hey, hey bro, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. Nah, you, you got to do what you got to do. And he, you know, he fucking, he's not from the States, apparently. You know what I mean? No, no. Yeah. He's not from the States, but he came here at a young age and he yep. went to Jersey. So, hey, Pedro, he from where you from? You feel me? Jersey. Shout out to Hey, round of applause to Jersey, bro. Hey, shout out to Jersey, man. We fucks with Jersey over here. You know what I'm saying? Jersey. All we need is a bogey. You know what I'm saying? Yo, bro. <laughs> I've been seeing some crazy shit on Facebook, bro. Some crazy shit, what man. Got? What you got? I don't know, man. Like, we're from Florida, right? You know? And Florida. We, we do some crazy shit, man. People from Florida, you always hear on the news, like, oh, Florida man or Florida woman. Fucking, yeah. it's, it's always us. It's always fucking us. But us gators, we love gators. We fucking love them. Gator we mouth. love the fucking college. We love the fucking eat it. We love the fucking have it on our fucking table right here. We love here, to chilling. swim with it. We love to fucking put the head on the wall. <laughs> yeah, bro. Everything. Like, anything about we a gator we love. We use them for back scratches, the paw. <laughs> yeah, we fucking, we put them on our boots. <laughs> we do whatever the fuck we can with them. And they've been around all, I don't know, as long as we fucking been Hey, around. bro, they've been yeah. around probably since before humans, to be honest. Man. Yeah, bro. But anyways, man, I saw some weird shit, man. So we make anything out of fucking gator right <laughs> so when i see a fucking gator fucking butt plug i was like <laughs> hey guys listen what a gator butt plug a gator I was, butt plug i was like what the fuck is this and it was just literally a fucking butt and then it was a fucking gator mouth just sitting out like this and it was like in the butt and i was like in the butt a butt plug. I was like, that is, butt plug. I was like, that is some that's cra- that's that some is some Florida crazy shit, shit. I've never seen some shit like that. So I don't know. I was fucking kind of disturbed, but also kind of like intrigued and kind of happy. It was nah, kind of weird. Ultimately, that's the shit that you see down in the Everglades. It wasn't a girl, by the way. It wasn't in a fucking guy. Hey, well, hey, we didn't ask. We don't care. Okay. That's your business. All right, man. Right? <laughs> Just throwing that out there. That's your business, bro. Hey, we man. live in 2021. Hey, bro. All right? Love is the answer. <laughs> But nah, nah, listen, man. Fucking Florida is a wild ass place, bro. Like, I don't know. The craziest shit happens in Florida. That's for sure. Like, people are afraid of coming to Florida just because some of the shit that happens. (laughs) Our weather is fucking horrible. (laughs) Like, they think it's wonderful. It's all sunny (laughs) until they get here and they got fucked. So you get to the summertime, bro, and then we got hurricanes and typhoons and fucking and fucking tsunamis and goddamn. We got goons running around. We got fucking the grass (laughs) growing as fast as my pubes. We got fucking. It's like I swear, bro. Hey guys, I don't know what the fuck. Is up with this one patch. It's just one patch of grass in our lawn. It's not even the whole lawn. It's just a patch. Because we got this a septic. patch is on steroids, bro. <laughs> nah, we got a septic in the middle, so it's gonna stay where it's yeah, moist. That is true, but it's, got where yeah. it's moist. <laughs> yeah. So it looks like it has an afro or lawn. Like everything else is fucking cut. But we got hey, a little bro. fucking patch in the middle. Nah, we got to call it patch. Is, that patch is fucked. <laughs> it pisses me off every time I drive up, and it's two inches longer than when you left. That shit's like God, you know, one fucking day, bro. What fucking... the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Hell <laughs> no, nah, bro. That's fucking, fucking wild, telling. man. But listen, man, you know what's wild, bro, is this uh this Joe Budden uh feud that he has going with Rory and Maul. Oh um, shit, yeah. Ultimately, bro, I watched that podcast. I've watched it for a few years. I haven't watched it since the beginning. Okay. But I watched it for a while, man, and it's sad to see, you know what I'm saying, how like Money and ego could get in the way of of certain things, you know, because ultimately, like, from my view, from looking at, you know, looking from the outside in, it's like Joe has a really big fucking ego. Yeah. And it's like, bro, you got to humble yourself. Yeah, just a little bit. It doesn't matter if you're the boss. You don't have to parade around the office telling everybody you're the boss. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah. it's like, where's relax, the respect? Bro. Where's yeah, the respect? Like, there's, yeah. there's no respect, man. Yeah. And it's like, these guys, like, whether you own it or not, or whether they only get a percentage or not, nigga, they helped you build it. Yeah, you exactly. gotta show respect, bro. Yeah, you gotta show years. a certain level type of respect. Like it's a long time that they invested with you. Yep. You know? So it's like, gonna it's it's a lot of emotions too, bro. You gotta think about it, bro. These guys are like best friends and shit. And then they fucking make a podcast for like six years. It's like you and me. Growing up, you know what I mean? And then it's like, damn, bro, we get... I don't know, man. 
It's just it's it's fucked up. It's a fucked up situation, and it shows you that money can really change people, bro. Yeah, for real, it really and can. It, it's listen, man. There's one thing that that Joe said that I was I was like that raised the flag to me, and it was like it's kind of true. He's like, yo, me and Maul never had a problem because we never broke bread. Like, that's what, like, he's like, throughout our whole fucking, like, you know, relationship. Yeah, they had we, their own careers. He's like, yeah, like, we never broke bread. So now that it's time to break bread, it's a problem. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, that, that brings out a certain thing in people, too. Like, there's people that you're, like, you, they could be the best friend, your best friend in the world, bro, but they're not the best person to go into business with. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it's like, you got to be able to differentiate the two. Yep. For real, like. But it's just sad, man, because they built something big, bro. They built the second biggest podcast right behind Joe Rogan. Yeah. That's big. That's crazy, right? That's big. And yeah. it's like, and to watch it go down like that, it's like, bro, like, egos need to be checked. Like, bro, it's not all about you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, He's like, I'm not suing nobody. He's like, man, I'm, man, I'm not suing nobody, man. They can do their own podcast, man. Bro, like, you'd be fucked up to sue them. Yeah, exactly. It's like, all right, so you don't want to let them work here, nigga. You could go somewhere else, though. Like, you could do they your go. own thing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He's but like, you like, violated the contract just for you. But that's it, true, too. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, bro, they all signed a contract saying, hey, bro, we're going to show up twice a week, bro, yeah. for the next two years. He violated Whatever the, the contract. The contract and is. They didn't show up for you, six and weeks. And he still let him come back. There was still an open seat for them. He just had his other friends replace him. Ultimately, bro, that's that's what, like, when it comes down to he it, bro, the business it by is a business, bro. He couldn't do it by himself. And so it's, it's not like, just yeah. that, bro. Like, they have a business to run. Like, that business is big now. It's to the point where there's, like, 25 people eating from it meaning 25 salaries going out a year there's families being taken care of nigga it's not just about you families are being taken care of this show can't stop bro yep you know what i'm saying like it has to fucking roll yep but there at the same time there has to be a level of respect man and honor the contract yeah, yeah. Honor the contract. If yeah. you told these boys, hey, bro, you're each going to get 20%, whatever, I'll take the rest or whatever, however it's going to go, and they agree to that, bro, then that's, don't try to fuck them out of their 20%. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's fucked up. Yeah. Like, if you agree to it, they're you signed to it. They're both like, wrong. The way that he treated them. Yeah, bro. Because there was a big part of that, too. But I, I think that's just a little bit bullshit. It could, I think it's more of the money. Because because they, they were saying, oh, it's not about the money, and now it is. No, they it is. It, yeah. Of course it's about the money. But yeah. ultimately, bro, like, the problem is, too, bro, as men, as men, a lot of times we don't want to act like something bothered us or like our feelings are fucking hurt or something. Like, we don't address a lot of shit. And I feel like that's part of it, too. Yep. I feel like that there was that tension for a while. Yeah, and I they felt just the never body fucking, language. They just never addressed it. You could tell. You know what I mean? You could like, feel it. You could feel the vibes off somebody just by their body language it, or how they're, how, they're, how they're reacting, how they're looking, how they're sitting. You know? You could just look at You could read somebody, man. Your body's, like, telling you something, bro. Energy you know what doesn't I mean? lie, bro. Yeah. And their energy was off. But at the end of the day, it comes down to that. Like, I feel like it comes down more to respect because let's let's be real. I feel like they all had bread. Like they were they all had more bread than the normal person before they started doing that podcast. For real. So I it might be about the money, but it's more about I feel like it's more about the level of disrespect. It's like, bro, like you like you bitch and twitch about these fucking record labels fucking you over, but then you're doing the same thing to us. You know what I'm saying? Like, how are you going to bitch about a record label fucking you over when you do the exact same thing to us? Yeah. So I get it. But at the same time, you as an individual, regardless of feelings, nigga, yeah. you sign a contract, you know what I'm saying? And you said that you were going to show up X amount of times a week for two years. The contract whatever. is, yeah. The contract is a contract. You broke the contract. Bro. Yeah. You're out of here. Sorry. Yeah, like, bro. That, that's what it is. You broke the contract. If there was no contract and it was just like off word and off friendship and just a bond, I'm like, all right, well, yeah, that's different. Yeah, that's different. That's completely. But different. you're talking but about business, business now, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. A business about- is a business, and you can't mix you can't mix business and friendship. No, you too can't. much. Too much. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, you, I feel line. like there's when they say, "Bro, don't go into business with friends." I feel like that's a very true saying for most of your friends. But there's still friends that you could do business with. You just got to know who. There's people that could. You know, they could, like, separate the two, friendship and business, and understand both of them yeah. on a different level. Because, that, like, you can't mix them. Like, business is business. Like, you got to be willing to fire anybody. You got to be willing to, you know, 
do whatever it is for the business because that comes before anybody. You know, like that's just how that shit goes. But no, it's true. It's just sad, man. It's yeah. sad watching these guys build that shit, you know, and then watching it end the way it ended. Yeah, it's just but, coaching somebody. Yeah, bro. <laughs> that kind of leads right into a, into what, what my the dog fuck? got the coach bucket too, yeah, so yeah, he's bro. fucking yeah. feeling it. Yo, bro, I got. That. <laughs> I didn't even think I probably even noticed that. I was good. I didn't even fucking think about that. What the fuck? Man? Yeah, bro. Nah, but I need to stop cursing, man. I know, man. Yeah, I guys. Mean, we yeah. curse like sailors, but it's okay, guys. Yeah, I'm We're trying. trying. I'm sorry. We're but, trying. But yeah, man, I'm wearing the coach hat and I I just want to throw it out there, man. Like, it's true. We were having a conversation on just friendship and and I feel like when you have to coach somebody to be somebody's friend, or like let's say that you have to coach your, your boy to be better to you or or, or, you know, I really feel like you guys shouldn't just be friends. Yeah, you bro. Really, like, you really shouldn't. Like, and it's hard. It's hard. You know, you could talk about it and stuff like that. But when the conversation just keeps going and going and it, like it just keeps on repeating itself and you just see a pattern and it's just like, bro, like, what the fuck? You know, you kind of just have to cut it off. There's a lot of friends that, that I've cut off because of that. You know what I mean? And it's kind of just like you just got to feel your body. Uh, cause your body be telling you shit, just like what I said earlier. Like your body be telling you shit, like the the vibes, like for real. It's all vibrations and shit. Like if you don't feel it, then I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. It's like that that little voice and shit. Nah, bro. It ultimately it just comes down to like I don't know, bro. Friendship is is a weird thing. Like you got to be able to talk to each other, man. Yeah. And then you got to be able to respect each other when you fucking talk. Like you can't. It can't just be like, yo, I'm going to talk to this person and then that person don't listen. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to respect each other, bro, and and understand, like, it's a give and take. It's like any other relationship. Like, some days, like, you're going to have to put more work in than the other person, but it shouldn't always be like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it shouldn't always be like that. Like, respect your friend's time. Like, and, and it's true. Like, you shouldn't have to coach somebody to be yeah. your friend like if you gotta tell somebody how to respect you bro they just don't respect you and that's just bottom line like you should like respect is a common thing if something bothers you or something you could talk about it but it's like if they just straight up just don't respect you yeah that's completely different nigga. Yeah. like they just don't respect you you shouldn't have you shouldn't be teaching somebody how to show you respect yeah you know what i'm saying and, like, uh, and it's cool man because you just gotta watch your expectations you know, it's true. One of my buddies, he told me that too. He's like, you got to stop expecting things from people, bro. Because it's like, you got to stop expecting you from somebody else. And it's true. Everybody's different. But like, there's certain things that you just got to like, it's just common sense, bro. You know, it's just common sense. Like, bro, like, be considerate for somebody else's like feelings. If somebody doesn't show their emotions like that, it doesn't mean they don't have emotions, bro. Yeah, no, that's a you fucking know what I mean? fact. Because just like what you said, you know, we, us men, we like to cover our emotions and be like, nothing really bothers us. But like, that shit is not going to take you there. It's yeah, no, nah, like, you got to take, take you anywhere. You got to be honest with yourself and you got to be honest with the people around you, bro. If somebody does something to you that bothers you, like, bro, we have uncomfortable conversations all the time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Regardless of what it is, it might be something big to somebody, something small. But it's like, you got to talk about that shit, bro. And you know what I'm saying? And when somebody talks, like I say, bro, you got to listen because nothing's going to happen if you don't if you don't take in what's what the fuck you're talking about. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, and you got to listen to each other and respect each other. A lot of more, like a lot of relationships would would have been better off, like just talking about it and things would have been better. Facts. Seriously. Facts. It's just like 90% of the car accidents out here are avoidable. Yeah, that's from, a big From fact. a crash. That's same as a relationship. Yeah, but you're not paying attention, bro. You see what I'm Either saying? You're not paying attention to your, you know what I'm saying? Like That's deep. And that's real. a fact. Like it it's just you got to talk, you got to talk shit out, guys. Like don't hold shit back. Don't let people disrespect you either. You know what I'm saying? Like yep. set boundaries. Like yeah. if it's somebody you care about, give them a, give them a chance, but after a few of them chances, it's like, "All right, bro, you don't got to explain nothing else. I see where you're, you know what I'm saying? Like I, I see where your level of respect for me is." Yeah. There's nothing else to say. For real. But Yeah. It's fucking, it's crazy, bro. It's crazy. Like, Pedro brought up a story to us, man, about kids that can read while being blindfolded. And that shit just blew my motherfucking <laughs> mind. I'm like, how the fuck was there like little kids can read 
Hey, Joe, like, books they never read did while they, they're blindfolded. Did they fucking have the little code? Like the little, what do they call that for the for the blind people? What do they call that, man? I, what do they call that for the? So like the the book of Eli type shit. <laughs> <laughs> you ever seen that movie? An idiot, bro. Come on, bro. Like you never seen That's that. Have you movie, seen that movie? Bro. You haven't, you haven't seen, seen the book of, the book Eli. of Eli. Oh my oh, god! Oh, you're, you're, oh, you're gonna love this. Oh, you're gonna love this. You're gonna love this. It's about the Bible, bro. Yeah, bro. It's a good movie. It's about the Bible. It's a good movie. Denzel Washington too. Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. It's a great movie, bro. It's a really good movie. Yeah, but now, bro, fucking, it's crazy. Like, so what Pedro was saying is that it was scientifically proven that. There was kids that could be supposedly, allegedly, it was scientifically proven that kids could be blindfolded and they could read books that they never read. Like they can know what's in in the books. And supposedly it's something that like all humans could do, but it like kids are, you know, it's easier for kids to do, I guess. Yeah. And I don't know, bro. Like it might sound crazy to some people, but. You never know, bro. You can't put nothing past nobody nowadays, bro. Like, yeah, these kids are being born way smarter than what they used to be. Yeah, way <laughs> smarter. They know a lot more than what I knew. Yeah, bro. Like we were dumb dumbs. Yeah, like we were like little fucking little bobbleheads and just wa- ru- just running around like little fucking Tommy from fucking Rugrats and man, I'm running around the- like Ed, Ed and Eddie. Bro. Yo, they're making iCarly back. You seen that? And they took away Sam. Yo, guys. This guy is really <laughs> obsessed with iCarly. Hey, like, man, because we are nigga, in iCarly. This guy it, wishes bro. he was iCarly, was a, bro. bro. Nah, man, I used to watch that show because I used to be the little <laughs> nerdy guy. I used to be like, oh, man, I'm the camera guy. You know what I mean? I'm the camera guy. Yeah, bro. Nah. It was a good show, though. <laughs> it's a lot of shows that are just like, man, they're not they're not as good as they used to be, man. Like, what was that, what was that other show? The Rocket? Rocket? Rocket League, Rocket something. Rocket Power. Rocket shit. Power. Rocket Power. There we go, yeah, bro. Rocket bro. Power. Rocket man. Power was my shit. Nigga. Holy was shit. That shit. Rocket Power was my shit too, man. Fuck. That was awesome, man. I used to watch that Ed, show Ed and all Eddie the was time. my shit though, bro. Edit and Eddie too. They used Fuck. to go pull licks at the motherfucking candy store and shit. <laughs> Yo, they used to fuck with the jaw uh the, the jawbreakers. Jawbreakers. Damn, yeah. I'm forgetting everything. What the fuck yeah, is high? This guy, hey bro. You gotta tighten up. Yeah, bro. <laughs> Yo, if y'all like my head, let me know, man. Cause but no, nah, cartoons. You're right, bro. Cartoons from <laughs> cartoons from back in the day, bro. They're just better than the cartoons from now. That's for sure. Yeah, the cartoons are fucking trash. Cartoons man. are super trash. Anyways, man, I'm fucking really lit right now. I'm having a great time. I'm really, really happy that you guys are with us right now. Facts, guys. Um, we appreciate every single last one of you for seriously. rocking, sharing, subscribing. You know what I'm saying? Going down in the description and getting yourself some merch. But guys, once again, only about 10 fucking percent of y'all are subscribed. We need you guys to hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you're notified every single time that we drop. And yeah, guys, tell somebody you love them. And we'll catch you on the next one. Peace and love, baby. Peace and love. Peace and motherfucking love.